Holy pirate ship. This is somebody's Halloween decorations on their house. Halloween decorations. How do you make this pirate ship look like it's literally protruding out of your house? And when you do this, are you stuck with this for the rest of the year? Like, do you now forever have a pirate ship house? The attention to detail here is just incredible. They got everybody on the crew. They got everything going on. This is a house I'd like to go trick-or-treating to. Yes? is a masterpiece. You know you have to watch after your daughter if even the undead are trying to get to her bedroom. <laughs> Damn, girl. The, the living and the dead men are after her. I'm not even hating. I, I say... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, guys, I don't like spiders even when they're these tiny. Like, these tiny. Like, you can barely see them. But this big? If it's this big, then you gotta burn the whole neighborhood down to the ground just in case so that it doesn't lay any eggs. Because if that thing lays eggs, we got a problem. Oh, it's, it's just decoration? It's not a real spider? Okay, guys, guys, call quits on burning down the neighborhood. It's just a decoration. They built this thing. How? We don't know, but we just know it's not real. How do you even get to the door? Like, there's so much cobwebs in here. You'd be cleaning up cobwebs for days. We're gonna sit here and drink beer until we figure out women. <laughs> Get it? Because they're dead. They died trying to figure out how women work. We're complicated, okay? You're absolutely right. But you know what? I also don't understand men. I don't understand women, and I don't understand men. How hard is it to put down the toilet seat after you pee? And then the rebuttal is always like, how hard is it for you to put the toilet seat back up? Nobody wins. Never let go, Jack! I, I, that's what I think they were trying to recreate. That, or they'd be trying to sneak into the girl's room again. This man built the tallest scarecrow I have ever seen and ever want to see in my life. This thing is terrifying. Oh my god, can you climb it into it? Oh, imagine there's a little house in, in the head, in the lantern, the, the jack-o'-lantern. That would be so awesome. And then when you turn on the lights in your bedroom, it would light up. First, I was scared of it, but now I love it. Wow. Okay, so they made a fake UFO crash and they made it a crime scene. So you see like the alien and they got the number two there and like all the, what are they called again? All the evidence, all the evidence is scattered everywhere. It's all fun and games until the government sees this and then actually relocates your family because they need to cover Cover up this fake UFO crash. Should I even be talking about this in this video? Now that's the most carved pumpkins I have ever seen in one place at one time. And let me tell you, I hope that those were pre-carved or something because wow, that must have taken a long time. It always seems easy until you try carving that pumpkin yourself. Every time I'm like, you know what? I'm a decent drawer. I used to paint. Like my art skills are decent. Okay, I give myself decent on the scale of like master peacemaker and just utter shit <laughs> I'd say I'm like mm, mm, in the middle but then I pick up a carving knife and I try to carve a pumpkin and I cannot do it let me tell you it is so hard I don't know if my because I have really weak wrists I do have really weak wrists my upper body strength is quite weak now this has to be the coolest house i've ever seen what look at the little like red carpet it looks like blood that's just like coming down the mouth because this house just ate all the children who asked for candy this is how you have a really relaxing night on halloween it's fun to give out candies it's fun to see everybody's smiling faces but sometimes you're just not in the mood and when you're not in the mood and you just don't want to be left alone because you know we all have those days when we're like i'm not in the mood today this is what you do nobody's gonna come to your house and your house looks like this that or everybody's gonna come to your house i mean it could go either way this ghostbusters house is amazing look at all the attention to detail they've included so many things here how long did this take and how much money did it take like is this like all your savings so that you can just have some sick halloween house and then on christmas you're like sorry no lights this year we spend all our budget on halloween this tree fell and they were like let's just turn it into king kong who is really angry i like it or is this like a jurassic park reference i'm not sure a little dinosaur here now i like the simpsons just as much as the next person but this is a real fan like this is a true fan they got me beat okay the only thing scarier than this house is the electrical bill they're gonna get at the end of the year wow those are a lot of lights whoa 
this is so cool i just saw this guy but then i saw the arm and this dude they're all like climbing out of there like they're being born out of a pumpkin this looks cool but can you imagine the smell when pumpkins left out in the sun for too long Ugh, it does not smell pretty i like this one and let me tell you why this is a story of revenge okay we spend year after year carving the pumpkins and they are finally getting their revenge they're fighting back okay i made that up but i thought it had good lore behind it i love the lore behind a picture and sometimes when it comes with no lore i'm here to provide it i grounded the kids for halloween <laughs> the sign on this one is just too much they literally grounded the kids we have a walking dead one here <laughs> This is really well done. Think about all the time they took to make all those zombies and all the humans fighting back. Now, if you want to make this really interesting, you don't put a fence around the zombies and you let them roam around the neighborhood. As far as Halloween movies, I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. It is so much fun and I watch it almost every single year and I never get bored of it. I don't know. I just love it. I love it. It's so much fun. And apparently this person also loves it so much that they turned their whole house into a Nightmare Before Christmas set i mean i appreciate these decorations but how does somebody get an entire bus outside of their house for a decoration like what is this did they steal a school bus did they buy one did they rent one i need to know the story behind this i wish the sun wasn't so bright so i could get like see more of the details but it, oh is it like filled with like monsters i can't tell i see what they did there this one's really creepy and cool like is this paint how do they make all these decorations and more importantly how do you get rid of it rid of them do you just keep them up until next year if this was your house you would never get any mail oh i'm gonna order some really cute clothes online and then they never show up because the mailman is like uh screw this i'd rather get fired i have two questions and they're very very important so listen up how did they build these transformers and do they work? That is the important one. Do they really work? I like this one because it's scary, but it's not too scary, okay? I don't like things being too scary because then I'm, I'm a scaredy cat and then I'm like, <laughs> I can't do this, but I really need the chocolate, so I'm gonna do it anyway. But this way, I feel safe when I go grab my chocolate. Now this is some good craftsmanship. Wow, do you see the detail? This witch, like it almost looks real. I don't know how people have the time for this. I, I'm not gonna lie, half the time, I kind of forget to do it, and then I leave it for last second, and then I end up doing like a somewhat okay job, I guess, but not really because I did it the day of. Yeah, and these people are doing this. I appreciate it. I respect it. I just don't understand it. Hulk for president, vote green. Don't make him angry. <laughs> Wow, look at how much is going on here. This one's really cool. I mean, even if it's a little political, I'm still down for it. I'm living for it. And I would vote Hulk all day, every day. Oh, I like this one. Look, look at all the attention to detail. It's incredible. I'm not exactly sure what's happening with this one. It looks cool and it looks like he's almost has like bike pedals on. So maybe it's motorized and his legs are moving. That would make it pretty damn creepy. I was actually wondering how many of you guys actually like celebrate Halloween in your countries. Cause I know some countries aren't really big on it, but in other countries they are and everybody gets dressed up and they go trick or treating. Yeah, I'm just actually really curious. I, I'm from Canada and at least where I live, like we would always go trick or treating. It'd be so much fun because putting the costumes together and figuring out what you're gonna wear and seeing everybody else's costumes is always so much fun. And then on top of it, bonus points, you get chocolate after. <laughs> you also get candy, but I'm like, to be honest, I'm not big of a candy person. I like, I like chocolate though. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I've, I've never like been that into candy. Like I'm, I'm okay with it, but I'm never like gonna go out of my way and eat candy. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other.